Hello and welcome to Written in Blood. My name is John and I thank you for watching. Uh, so today what we're going to do is part two of my horror book collection. Uh, one thing to note um, from now on, because for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, whenever you type in my the, the name of my channel, uh, all you get is a bunch of things referring to any other video with the words written in blood in them. So from now on, my video is going to be titled Written in Blood Presents and then whatever the subject matter is about. Just so hopefully I can get a few more viewers out there. Uh, but anyway, the name of the channel is Written in Blood. So uh, so this is part two of my horror book collection. So let's go ahead and get this underway. Uh, first, I have three books by uh, Mario Acevedo. Um, and uh, these are more horror comedy or comedy horror, but there is the horror element. Uh, the first thing we have is The Nymphos of Rocky Flats. And by the way, these are going to be the regular size paperbacks I'm going to be featuring, or standard size paperbacks. Okay, so like I said, we had The Nymphos of Rocky Flats. I read that a long time ago, but it, and I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was fun, and uh, it wasn't scary, but, you know, it had, like I said, it had the horror element. Uh, the same goes with X-Rated Bloodsuckers. Yeah, I kind of see a theme going on here with his, his titles and stuff. Um, and then finally, uh, I have Werewolf Smackdown. Um, this one, I was kind of disappointed in it. wasn't To me, it wasn't as good as the first two books, and it took me a little bit to get through it. So, yeah, but that's the three I have by Mario Acevedo. Uh, I have one that I got at the Iliad in, I believe, West Hollywood. Uh, and if I'm wrong, correct me on that. Uh, and it's The Devouring. It's by F.W. Armstrong. And it's published by Tor Books. I used to collect a lot of Tor and Leisure books, and I'm trying to get back into doing that, you know, whenever I see them. So there's that. Uh, have one by Jonathan Acliff. This is Naomi's Room. And sorry if there's a glare and trying to get the glare, get it away from the glare. Uh, this is a neat little ghost story. Uh, it's been a while since I read it, but I remembered I, when I did, it was, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. So that's Naomi's room. And then we have Clive Barker. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Barker. I have a few of his books. Um, what I have read, I've liked. I haven't, to be honest, I haven't read this yet, though. Uh, I know this is his first novel. Uh, so, and I, I believe I tried or, or, uh, was going to read it when I was younger when it was first published, but I just, either, I don't think I ever got around to it, but it's the Damnation Game. And sorry, I don't mean to keep covering up the, uh, titles or the covers. So, the Damnation Game by Clyde Barker. Okay. And then we have a vampire book, uh, Bloodsuckers, or I'm sorry, Blood, Blood Rights. Wow. Okay, Blood Rights by Elaine Bergstrom. Uh, I got her mixed up with Elizabeth Engstrom because of the, of the Strum in her last name, or in the, both her last names, but no, it's two different people, but I haven't read this one yet. Uh, I got this one at uh, Bookhounds on, on one time. Uh, I also have uh, Legion, which is the sequel to The Exorcist, and... Uh, is pretty much the basis for The Exorcist Part Three by uh, there was also which was written and all was, was directed by the writer William Peter Blatty. Uh, creepy movie. I mean, old lady crawling across the ceiling. That's yeah, and that scene with the the trim, uh, the, the shears. You know, wow. Uh, but yeah, Legion by William Peter Blatty. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going out here. Hang on. Okay, uh, I have a uh, Lori by Robert Block, who, of course, is the author of Psycho. Um, so I haven't read this one yet. Uh, one of these days, I'll get to it. I have so many books to get to re have to read, you know. Uh, and here's a movie tie-in, uh, Jason X. Uh, I'm not sure who is it. It's uh, Pat Cadigan. Yeah, but it's based on the screenplay. Uh, uh, of course, crea characters created by Victor Miller, who was the creator of the original Friday the 13th. So there's the movie tie-in to Jason X. Haven't read this one either. Got it for 99 cents. You can see the little thing right here, but, you know. Okay. I uh, got one, two, three, four books by Ramsey Campbell. And uh, these are my paperbacks, the standard size paperbacks. I have a few other books by him as well, and, and the oversized paperbacks and, and some hardbacks. Uh, first up, I have The uh, Doll Who Ate His Mother. Uh, 
And Campbell, I first when I first started reading Campbell, I really I could not get into him. His horror was just too quiet for me. Uh, when I was younger, I wanted gory, uh, fast-paced horror, and he just wasn't doing it. Uh, but and I just was not able to get into his stuff. It's almost like I couldn't I couldn't understand it, you know. Uh, but then as I got older, I decided to give the guy another chance, so I did, and I'm really, I really enjoy his work, actually. Uh, he's a lot, yeah, he's a lot, he can be gorier than you think, uh, and his, but his horror is just so subtle and so quiet. Uh, but this is the doll of his mother, and had the Nameless, and again, it's another book published by Tor. And I love their title, their covers. Some of the covers for Torah books were just pretty awesome. So there's the Nameless. And I'm trying to do this without the, all the glare and everything. I know I don't have a lot of light in here, so. Uh, and then we have The Hungry Moon. Okay. I haven't read this one. I read The Nameless and I read The Dolo Ed's Mother. I haven't read The Hungry Moon. I also haven't read this one, which is uh, Midnight Sun. So that's two of his that I haven't read. Uh, and I have a few others. And finally, I have uh, the book uh, Wake of the Werewolf. And it's by Jeffrey Kane. Uh, I know I've heard this name somewhere before. I can't think of where. I think I read one of his books. Uh, I think I read one of his books one time before. In fact, you know what? I'm going to look inside and see if there's like a little thing that tells you uh, anything he's written. And of course, there's not. But... Yeah, I read something else by him. I just can't remember what it is. So, yeah, finally there is. And like I said, I apologize for the covers, the glare. But, yeah, it's called Wake of the Werewolf. And he looks like he's in kind of a, I don't know, it's almost a mid-transformation, maybe. Anyway, so this is, like I said, this is part two of my horror book collection. Uh, and once again, if you like my videos, then please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, the subscribe button is like somewhere down there. Okay. And then the bell is the same thing. Uh, anyway, and that, like I said, that concludes part two and have a nice day and bye-bye.